right, well, hey, everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Wild Card Wednesday. Once again, I apologize if I sound a little weird. I'm still just a touch under the weather, but I'm determined to fight off this cold. But it's not about that. What we're talking about today, this little guy right here. Look at this. Look at this little guy right here. This is the nugget from Artery. This is actually the Gold Rush kit. It comes with your little nugget from Artery, and it comes with your little sub-ohm tank from Artery as well. In order to get to know both of these just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. Quick, short, upy, closey time. All right, yeehaw, what we have here is the Nugget from Artery, and it's a little, little device. And when I mean little, I mean really little. It's only about two inches from top to bottom and about an inch across, spring-loaded 510 right there. Very nice clicky button right there, clicky up-down buttons. Now, this does wattage mode, temp control for nickel and uh, titanium. It has a 1,000 milliamp or ma battery on the inside and does a maximum of 50 watts in wattage mode. For the size of this little thing and for the battery, battery life it's kind of amazing it also does come with its own little 49er tank which is a top fill tank you can kind of see right there juice flow holes are open juice flow holes are closed and then you pop the top and just bleh, squeeze your juice in there this little combo is i mean amazing it's a great great little vape now this is just a 0.5 ohm canthal coil head in here so i've been rocking it at a full 50 watts the battery isn't amazing but it lasts a good long time so to access the menu you press the up and down buttons together and there you go now you can adjust it temperature uh, power, uh, voltage, temperature nickel, tempo ti temperature titanium, wattage mode, or voltage mode. So if you leave this menu now, okay, let's leave the menu, exit, now it's going to be in voltage mode. It's going to show you your volts instead of your watts, but I like watts better. After that, you can adjust your temperature settings from Fahrenheit to Celsius. We're going to leave it on Fahrenheit. This, you can have the power limiting, so if you want the maximum of your device to be 30 watts, sure, you can do that. Why not? I set mine to 50 watts. I don't know why you would adjust that on there, but it's an option. And this is where you adjust when it powers down. And I have it turns to off, but you can set it to... I want it to power down every 20 minutes and turn itself off. Every 30 minutes and turn itself off. I have it set to off because I never want this to turn off or power down. You use this menu when you're updating the firmware. You load it and it'll reboot the system and then it'll, when it's plugged into your computer, it'll update the firmware that way. I don't want to do it now because it goes into this loading menu that you have to wait out. You have to wait for it to power itself off. So I'm not going to do that software version I'm using, and then exit. It's a really simple little system I have found. I've been easily able to do everything I want with it, and every function of it works really well. So not a whole heck of a lot to see here, just a little, a little nugget. USB is right there for charging, and like I said, firmware updating. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this 49er tank to it. We're going to get back out to normal view, and we are going to vape this little, little guy. Now, I really thought that these, like, tiny little mods, like the Mini Volt and the Nugget, were just kind of like a, bah, like a novelty. Like a, eh, they're not really like a serious vaping thing. They're just kind of like a for fun thing. But the more time that I spent with this little Nugget, the more and more I fell in love with it. It's got a 1,000 milliamp hour battery, which, if we're talking about batteries... This guy, my favorite Axis Vapes M17, only has an 1100 milliamp hour battery. This almost has the same size battery as this guy right here. Lasts me a decent amount of time. If I'm solidly, solidly chain vaping nothing but this, I could probably get five and a half, maybe six hours out of it. The sub ohm tank it comes with, the little 49er tank, is a rad little tank. These coil heads have lasted me a good long time. With this particular coil head, I've probably put between 70 and 80 mils of juice through it, and it's still going strong. The flavor is still stellar, and the airflow is great. Really good, nice flavor. It's got juice flow valves that you shut off, and then you unscrew the top, and you bleh your juice in there. Then you open the juice flow valves back up 
works, uh, works really well. The menu system is nice, it's easy to navigate, it can do anything that I want it to do, including temperature control with nickel and titanium. I ran this with my token titanium build on the velocity, worked fine, worked great. And the size of it is just tiny. It's just really small. Uh, the last time I went to Disneyland, I took this with me and you can just throw it in your pocket. You know what I mean? And like, you don't even notice that it's there. And then you, you know, you get to a smoking area and you're like, Hey, we should vape just because we haven't vaped in a while. You pull out this little thing, five clicks, turns it on and you're vaping away. It was great. It was great. I am really a big fan of this little device. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands for this? A little bit, I guess. Now, this one came to me from Mad Vapes, and right now on the Mad Vapes site, it is out of stock, but they sell it, the whole kit in stainless steel with the tank, $92. Ooh, $92. You can get it in gold. For some reason, the gold is cheaper at $72.99, but you could use your Google Foo and Google around. I'm going to link in the description to both Mad Vapes and the Artery site because this one came to me from Mad Vapes, but definitely use your Google Foo fingers. See how fine you can cheap, see how cheap you can find it. If you find a nice cheap price for it, post a link in the description or post a link in the comments and I'll post your link in the description uh, obviously and give you credit for where you can find it. But if we're playing the Aliens game, let's play the Aliens game. Why not? Aliens come down, take all of my vape gear. Is the 49er kit, the Gold Rush kit, this little nugget and tank, something I would seek out and buy? Yeah, dude, I would. The size of this alone makes it worth the price of admission. It's got a very decent battery life on it. It does 50 watts. It does temperature control. And this tank, I would rock this tank on other devices. I think the coil heads are that good. And I think the airflow and flavor are that good as well. So there you go. Yeah, I would definitely seek out and buy one of these, one of these tiny little nugget kits. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah. Right there. Let's keep on vaping. That's enough.